Number 24, using the given bond dissociation energies, rank the indicated bonds in order of increasing strength. So here are several molecules. Uh, looks like this is CH4, this is C2H6, and this is C2H2. And the bonds are being indicated with these blue arrows. So this carbon-hydrogen bonds right here, the bond dissociation energy is 104 kilocalories per mole. And what that means is it would take 104 kilocalories uh, to break one mole of these bonds. That's how much this bond is worth, and that's how difficult it is to break. Okay, 104 kilocalories to break a mole of them. So what about a mole of these over here? These carbon-hydrogen bonds, which are in a different molecule, well, it's only 98 kilocalories per mole uh, to break these. And so these bonds are not as strong as those because it takes less energy to break them. The one over here uh, in the C2H2, it will take 125 kilocalories per mole. Okay, so these bonds are the strongest. And uh, I've, I've copied all this information down over here. So the weakest carbon-hydrogen bonds are those right there, and the strongest ones are those right there. Pretty simple problem.